Hey everyone, welcome to the next project using the September kits. So I've just got a, a circle that I've cut out of white cardstock, mostly fits the whole 12 by 12. And I'm just trying to work out if I want some pattern paper in the background. I thought I would cut the white circle so that I could have this photo and use those acetate flowers that I've sitting, I've got sitting there. So we got a whole packet of them and I thought it'd be really nice to have them as a feature. I then decided I didn't, I liked a few papers, but I didn't want it just one back, like one pattern paper as the background. So I'm going to ruffle, cut the, rip the edges and have ruffled lines. And this is what I've come up with. But then I decide it's too busy and instead I use a white background. So I am going to use that ruffled edge background with the blue and the pink stripes on the next project so watch out for that definitely subscribe to the channel so you can see that and all the other goodness that goes on with these kits now you can see here i'm just using the flowers as a like border to the edge of the circle and i'm going to add some mixed media behind it so I've just drawn the circle and then I'm using a little pipette, which is like an eyedropper, just longer. And I'm added water along that the line and then I'm adding some blue ink, which is just some spray mist ink. And just adding that to the water so that it flows through. And it sits on top of the cardstock a little, even though I haven't gessoed it or anything. Because of the water, there's a lot of liquid above, so it sort of lets the colour flow around. And then I'm adding some ink splatter. So you can see there I've got jagged edges and, and whatnot. And I have a little play here with moving the colour around and soaping up some of the colour before I use my heat tool. Just so that I can have a little depth and difference to the, the tones of the colour as it dries. So it's always fun to have a play. Now I've got the original white circle here up on some fun foam. And I'm just gluing that straight down. I don't really wait for it to dry. So... My paper gets a little bit warped, so you can see there, I do have my mixed media is mostly wet, not heaps wet, but a little. And here's where I'm trying to decide which way I want the page to be upright, so where the mixed media is going to, to lay out on my paper. So now that I've got the mixed media going and I've got the white cardboard, the white circle down on the paper, I figure I'm going to have a play with the actual position of this acetate pieces they're so beautiful the colors are just beautiful the blue that I use for my mixed media is a bit brighter but not too much it's just because there's only hints of the blue in the acetate flowers not um, you know like majority of the flowers are blue the majority are probably purple I would say if you're looking at it right now but I like the way it just flows with it in the finished product so this is a photo, just a random selfie because I can. You know, that's pretty much most of my selfies are. And I'm just playing around a bit. I'm trying to work out exactly what I want, how I want it to happen, what I want, you know, that kind of thing. There's some really lovely gold acetate pieces. They're so just the outline of the flowers and the leaves that are gold. And then there's these other ones that are coloured in flowers. So trying to have a mixture of the both so that they flow and you can see here i sort of have it nestled in around the photo and have it on an angle a diagonal filling up that circle and i'm liking it but i'm trying to get you know the positioning right and then i just go nah it's not what i want and you can see look how wet it is on the background so you could see i just tip them all out and i just start again so this time I'm going to put my photo further down so that it's hanging off the circle and I'm going to have a play. Some of these flower acetate pieces are like arched so it's really fun. I know they'd be really good as just a single piece because of that arch and then others have got different like clusters of flowers and different shapes and sizes. So I'm going to now go the whole way around the circle. I think before it was looking a bit funny because of the mixed media going all the way around and then not all the flowers. But you can see now that looks really nice. 
So I'm going to cut off this white border of the photo just because I wanted to overlap the circle and with the white border it just added too much white and especially in that bottom bit which is going to overlap the circle it's just not going to work. So off screen here to the bottom I am adding some double sided tape and I'm just going to stick that photo down and I'm just going to work out how the acetate pieces are going on as I glue them down. There's really no way to get it wrong. You just want it overlapping the edge as well as being mostly on the circle. I'm just using wet glue all over it just to glue it down. You can't see through it. it like the colors are so nice and the glue is all right so it doesn't matter too much and I'm not using copious amounts that it spurts out the side or anything like that. So you can see just going one by one gluing them all down and that way I know they're where I want them to be and just working it out. So I didn't want to have to cut them off either the flowers so I'm making sure they don't go off the side of the 12 by 12 piece of cardstock but I do want them overlapping the circle somewhat so that it ties in that the blue background and has that um, depth to it because that circle is up on its fun foam. So some of them just are a bit bigger and I want to hold them a little bit longer than the others while I'm sticking them down with the glue but that's okay. It's always nice to overlap I think when you're doing this kind of thing so that you're overlapping the photo there with the flowers so that it ties it in and brings it as one so that it's uh, you know a entire layout rather than here's this one element and here's another element and here's a third element and they just sit solely by themselves on the page and it doesn't seem like there's any cohesive or any link to them. I feel I like to have that going on with the, the cohesive and the linking and making it look like one whole thing at the end. So you can see how it just works so nicely. I love the way it's come together with the flowers going all the way around and then having the photo as part of that chain. Now I've pulled out these gold thickers that we got. They are beautiful. And I want to spell out happy heart just because they are on those thicker sheets and it's something that, you know, ties in, I guess. And I was feeling pretty good at when I took this photo. So I'm going to try a couple of positions. So I try, I'm like, yep, I'm going to go with the arch thing, go around the edge. I pull it up and look at it and watch this. Two seconds, I pull them up, put them down like I knew that's exactly where they're going to go. And it just works perfectly that first time I lay them there. It's so funny how you could play and play and play with things. And then all of a sudden you just pick it up, plonk it down and it's the right way to go. So these are some puffy stickers. So I put that floral one there to the right of the title. And then I have that circular floral printed um, label one to the at the top of the photo. And that just ties in a little bit of embellishments without overdoing it. Because obviously the flowers and the mixed media are the focus of the design along with the photo. So I'm adding some of these gold uh, hearts. Just holding down one little piece of acetate flower because for some reason it didn't want to glue down. And I'm just going to finish the layout with some enamel dots. I didn't add some journaling. It's just a random selfie. I don't need any journaling on it. But I figure it looks just so nice together. And then when I'm packing away I realize there's these gold leaves. So I stick them in a couple of different spots just to add a little bit of interest. And then here's the final product. So hopefully you're inspired to, to get creating, whether it's mixed media messiness or just making a lovely layout. Anyway, hopefully you're sharing your goodies and your designs and layouts in the Facebook pages or on Instagram because we'd love to see what you're making as well. Have a great day, guys. Bye.